Hello my dear learners! Welcome to our science class. For today, we are on week 4. For our learning competency, we have described the appearance and uses of uniform and non-uniform mixtures. And for our objectives, we have identified common household colloids and their uses, prepare some beneficial and useful mixtures. To start with, Have you ever wondered how clouds made off? Okay, now clouds are also mixture. These are mixture of two phases of matter. And these two phases of matter mix together to form clouds. We have gas and liquid. And these two mixtures or two phases of matter when they mix together they form a colloid. It is an example of colloid. Yes, clouds are example of colloid. Now, our lesson for today is colloid. To be able for us to understand better, colloid, it is a special kind of mixture with particles evenly scattered in a dispersed medium without settling down. Let's try to look at this illustration. We have two solutions. The light passes through the sugar solution, while in milk, the light scatters. And this illustration shows the Tyndall effect. And this Tyndall effect, it is the scattering of visible light by collodial particles. Another thing for colloid, Particles move rapidly and collide with or bump each other. These motions of particles can only be seen with the use of microscope. And this is what we call the Brownian motion. Let's move on to the different types of colloids. First, we have foam. The dispersion of mixture is gas in a liquid for example we have whipped cream beaten egg white and ice cream another type is emulsion the dispersion of this mixture is liquid in another liquid for example we have mayonnaise cream which is oil in water, and butter, oil in oil. Water in oil. Next, we have aerosol. The dispersion is gas in a liquid. An example of this one is fog. Have you ever seen fog? Yes, you're right. In a cold atmosphere, we usually um, experience fog, just like in the summer capital of the Philippines. Yes, and that is Baguio City. And you may see also this fog in Tagaytay, since they have both cold atmosphere. Another thing for aerosol is gas in a liquid. And an example of this one is the smoke. Next, aside from types of colloids, these colloids, we also have a natural colloid. When we say natural colloid, these are basic for living things. It's natural. You cannot, you cannot um, make this one because it's natural. Next, for example, we have fog. We cannot create fog anyway. Next one. Clouds. Clouds are natural colloid that we cannot create. Next is the blood. Our blood is an example of colloid. Next, if we have natural colloid, we also have man-made colloid. This man-made colloid are very useful mixture made by man. For examples, we have paint. Next is we have ice cream. 
Another thing is gelatin. Next is conditioner, the one that we use in our hair. And also butter. These are only some of the man-made colloids that we have. Next, let's move on to beneficial and useful facts about colloids. It is used in cosmetics, decoration, or artistic works. Another thing is, as medicine, such as ointment and cream, the one that we use in our wound or even in our face. Next, we have in cooking, most especially in baking and salad dressing. Next one is, we also use this colloid in school and farming such as insecticides and the one that we use such as glue and ink in school ink is also an example of colloid and glue especially um this is very beneficial in some printing press um and among the farmers because of the insecticides that they use these are the colloids that are beneficial and useful to our daily lives or in our daily lives. Now, let's move on to fan activity, the most awaited fan activity. So, we have to tell each colloid on how they are being used such as in artwork, in cooking, cosmetics, or as medicine. Okay, let's start. Let's have paint. Yes, you're right. It is used as artwork. Okay, next picture. We have the cream or mayonnaise. Good job. Yes, it is used in cooking. Another thing is the gelatin. Yes, another correct answer. You have, you are right. It is used in cooking. And this one? Great! It is used as medicine. And for the last picture that we have, shampoo? Yes, you're right. It is used in cosmetics, as cosmetics. Okay, so if you got five, very good and good job for you. Okay, class. You have to remember that colloid, it is a special kind of mixture that contains very tiny particles that cannot be seen by our aided, unaided eye. These tiny particles do not settle down instead. They move rapidly and collide or bump each other. It appears as foam, aerosol, emulsion, and gel. And for your home activity, try to make your own mixture of egg sandwich using eggs and mayonnaise. Write the procedure in a clean paper. Have a photo of your finished product. Okay, kids. And that ends our lesson. I hope you learned something new for today. Bye-bye.